All right, folks. This is Vino Black here. We got the current sky chart for that latitude and longitude. And if you don't know about latitude and longitude, you need to learn it. And then we got our current sky chart for there right now. I'm recording this at 8:04 p.m. Central Time, and you can see where the sun's at now. The sun's now at pretty much where the earthquake happened in Fiji, over it. Okay. So I will show you here that pretty much where the culprit, the super giants. And we'll mention the next time I have a video, or you'll pretty much just be able to figure it out yourself by me showing you the constellation. Now, on the southern part of the world right now, where the sun's at, there are a lot of the supergiants down there again right now. Very, very large, okay? And people can watch this video and figure out the constellations that are there right now and everything like that. And I can always go into it and research it and go back to what we did on this showing you the truth about the electrical magnet. And right now there is the hour, minute, and seconds. Local side real time there. Local side real time. Right there right now. Okay? And current sky chart of there now. And this is at 8.06 p.m. Okay? So I'm going to go show you what uh, we had the other day. Go ahead and X out of that. And then we go to our pictures that we've got taken of, let me get to it. We've got our date. We have the sun location. And you can see that by the bottom of the world that, now this is a shot I believe of uh, let me get the beginning here. When you see the hole on the bottom of the earth, there's our quake uptick that we've got chart over the years. Then we are spiked up at 2011. When you see that on the graph there, the, the hole in the bottom, that is the South Pole. And that was the current sky chart of a local location that I could get close enough to see the South Pole. And as you can see, all of the massive stars of the supergiants are down there. Now this was taken at the time of the quake. Okay, I went ahead and taped this at the time of the quake. We'll go back to the recording that I got interrupted doing to do the quake report, okay? This is uh, central time here, looking at America pretty much, and we have the super giants, I think will pop up here in one of my pictures, there they are. That might have been the culprit of shooting super giant star rays, and also Denab, to the west because that's where the quake happened and that's where the sun was at in America pretty much you're looking at America right now folks okay and then there was also Antares down there this is at the time of the quake the 7.3 over there okay then I believe this is the south pole okay this is Antarctica. All the supergiants, all the big buggers are down there. The sun is barely peeking over, so everything is flashing. Also, the supergiants' lights, and you can see how bright the sun was today outside if you had a clear sky. It was hecka bright. I had trouble even in here recording the earthquake tape. Okay, so then, this is a sky chart they gave me on the AM hour of the South Pole. Okay? That's the only thing I could get is AM hour. Now, all this is still the same thing I've just been filming, okay, and then now, that was the local rail time there, and I believe that was probably either the 
the 12 a.m. that they would give me, yeah, that was the 12 a.m. they gave me. So I'm going forward here on what I did. Okay, all the super giants are still down there, folks. Okay, same real time. Okay, then we're looking, we get a little bit of look at the South Pole with all the super giants down there and the sun to the west. This is taken at that local rail time of where the quake hit at. Okay? The sun hasn't even got over to here yet. And we got all this supergiant activity. All the big suns and the supergiants. And you can see them down on the south pole, the Antarctic again, pretty much where we've seen that flash where I've got the flare of the videos that I'll show you. And I'll see if I can get to it on this one here real fast. So that you know that the time and the date is correct for the quake. That's the 7.3 in Fiji. Okay. So you got east there. And then west over here. Okay. And that was their rail time and everything. And there it is. That was the side rail time, I believe, at the time of the quake. The sun was still in the east there for them, coming up. Their sunrise, that was their sunrise in the east. Okay? So it's a combination, a triangulation of the supergiants that I showed you that we had in America at the time. That was their sunrise. And all of this, you can see at the top of the earth, look at there's hardly any stars. Down here, there's a, sh a heap load of them. Okay? So we're moving along. I'm going to make this video short so it's not long and stretched out for people so that you can understand that that was their sky chart for that location. And I'll go real fast here and think I can get us into there. That's, and if I got pop back, that is the GPS for it. That is for Fiji there in Australia. Okay. That's Australia, and then we'll go back. And I was pretty sure if I quickly go, there we go. It matches. So, uh, one. I'm not even going to read the numbers off, just to hurry. So the super giants, all this action is doing it. There was the sun in their east sunrise coming up. So when the sun is plopping over the horizon, plus the super giants in the south, because the sun wasn't rising when I did that tape. Okay. So, there is some material from the supergiants. It was even close to the uh, space lab that they got. That was off of a major news thing, and it got clipped and pulled down. Okay. So, we've got, you know, planets that you can see out there, because the supergiants are lighting them up, folks. Now, I'll speed ahead through my photos here. Okay, and you got common alien, which is just going to be either darkness or bright light shimmering. It's going to freak people out, though. So, that's the danger there. Uh, this is the super giants, a black and white photo, and you can see all the material around the sun. It's a split image or whatever the deal. Now, that's cactus, that is the sun, okay? I think it's a satellite that's around the sun. And you can see all the dark material that's around it, okay? And I'll see if I can hurry up and get through to some sh other shots to keep the video down to. Okay, now, there is Alanin. I found Alanin, I believe, on the second, folks. It's the fastest and earliest I could get a hold of Alanin on there. Okay, and I'll, uh, that was on Soho, okay? Alanin's a tetrahydrin. Tetrahydrin. Tetrahydrin, I guess. Okay, we got all kinds of hurricane action. That is... The South Pole, folks. A graph of the South Pole. Okay? The Earth is in a shit fit. Sorry for swearing, but we are in a shit fit down there, folks. The axis is dancing. Okay? And we have axis shift. Uh, if you really pay attention and rewind my video here and go through my shot that I was showing you of America. Now there is Alan in again on Soho on the 6th. Alright? And we got the flares. Okay? And we also got 
the electrical magnet coming here in a little bit. Now, there is, again, on the 6th, okay? And then we have these dynamic, huge, awesome, and you can see since this is a look from the Earth view, pretty much, of SOHO 3, which is LASCO 3, okay? There's Venus. Now, I could be wrong on that being Venus. That could possibly be Jupiter, but Jupiter is hella big. But I do believe that was Venus because Venus is close by there, and Jupiter has been usually west and farther away from the sun lately. Okay, so these are those light flares that come through, okay? You can get these pictures off of uh, my off my pirate channel. And uh, Elenin, I don't think it's that much of a threat. It's just the idea of darkness and stuff. Some people haven't m messed up that Jupiter is smaller than Venus. It's not, okay? At least either that or this chart I've got is wrong, okay? So that is Venus you're seeing around the sun right now. And uh, there's examples and photos also in my pirate site on that, okay? And I draw on there and stuff like that and tell you what's going on. Moving ahead, we got earthquakes all over the place, hurricanes, we know about that. Are we harping them and keeping them off the shore? We don't know. Fires all over the place. I got to skip through some electrical stuff that I got in here for my work. We're almost there. Okay, we're back to the sun action. Okay, and then I'll see if I can hurry up and floppy and give you, uh, you're going to see a bunch of comets there, folks, coming through. There's a heap of comets hitting the sun. There's those flares again of, of I believe electrical magnet folks from way out in the supergiants. If I keep going I should be able to plop in and give you another example. You gotta watch out for them covering up that planet that's up there by the sun that I've been constantly showing you on videos. Okay? Because they impose that. NASA impose that. They don't just make a mistake like that. Okay? They impose that over that pro and when over this weekend I should be able to tell you about a star there's those flares again. That's the fifth is when the flares were. That's when I started looking at Soho. And I think here pretty soon I should be able to run into the drawing. Well, there's and there's the mass of flares, but they're still flaring up there. You guys can see whatever it is today. Okay. I think everybody's seen that. Okay. So let me go to X out of that, bring up the earthquake. So as you can see, folks, that 7.3 is down there. It's the big one, okay? So when the sun was on the one I showed you where the United States today were the supergiant stars, those supergiant stars are all over the world, folks. They're all over the world, okay? All over the world. I'll go to sphere. I got it on night. So you can see where the sun, I don't know if you can see on the camera shot, but where the sun breaks over all the time, okay? So when the sun broke over, it triangulated without down here where the 7.3 is at, where you see that? That was Antarctica, those flares that I have on my earlier holy cow video, okay? The supergiant suns, they're 200 times, or no, 70 times the size of the sun, the biggest one. The small, one of the smaller ones is only like 1.1 the size of the sun, one eighth or something like an eighth bigger than the sun. Okay, so they're they're, they're humongous. They're from four times the size of the sun all the way up to 70 times the size of the sun. Okay, so when that made that 7.3 down here, it triangulated and hit before the the first one that I showed the, the actuality of it. It hit up here at BC, okay? It hit up at BC like that and came over from the Arctic down here, okay? And it triangulates. With the sun that was coming around, they were getting the sun east coast, was probably right here over where this about 2.8s happened earlier today, okay? So that's pretty much it. I'll try to make better video, better sense of it. We're getting close to 15. I'm going to cut out.
for now. Keep a, keep an eye out for holy cow or holy crap. Uh, be no black or be no black off the web on a pirate. Bye.